Lamar Odom and Steve Sarkeesian go through some very public struggles. A first round draft pick is telling his story of recovery from addiction. CBS 2 Stacey Butler spoke with Tom Marinovich about his turnaround and his take on the Steve Sarkeesian scandal. I saw it in his eyes. I had been there and he couldn't focus on me and was swaying. Former USC quarterback Todd Marinovich will never forget the last time he spoke to coach Steve Sarkeesian at a campus event two months ago. I felt the need to protect him. Seconds before Sarkeesian was to take the stage. So I said, who's in charge? We need to pull the plug. And right when I said pull the plug, I heard over the announcing speakers, ladies and gentlemen, your head coach. And I, my heart just sank because I had the feeling this is not going to go well. And it didn't. Get ready to ride on, baby. Let's go. Monday, USC dismissed the troubled coach after a number of similar incidents. Marinovich believes with treatment, Sarkeesian's career is far from over. He can rebound from this and have whatever he chooses to do and be far more successful, whatever that may be. It's not the end of the road. Marinovich should know. After setting passing records at Capistrano Valley High School, competing for the Heisman at USC and earning a first round draft pick, just two years later, he was out of the NFL, a full blown heroin addict. I know the feeling of being a slave to something that you can't break free of and feel hopeless and feel so without worth. The Orange County High Schooler says his addiction began freshman year with alcohol and marijuana. My coach said, you can't do these things. I looked at them and said, okay, I won't, but really said to myself, how could I not? This is how I deal with you and you and you. One stubbed robo quarterback, Marinovich says his addiction was fueled by feelings that he wasn't a good enough player, a good enough son. We all hold value in not production and not having to do anything just for you. You're valuable. When I can let go of all this, I have to be this and do this to have value. Man, it changed my life because that's what I was looking for my dad to say, you know, that a boy. I was looking for you to say, what a great game. Touchdown. AA and painting, he says, saved his life. Really, what art is about, what breaking free from addiction is about is a connection with other human beings. Marinovich now supports his family selling his art, but that's not why he paints. Somebody that has been as lost as I have has found his way and I would love and I feel the almost the obligation to share it with others that are struggling. From athlete to addict to artist, Todd Marinovich knows he shattered his own path every day. He fills the cracks with color. I can be human today. I can make mistakes and we can learn. And it's a freaking beautiful existence this way. Well, if you want to see more of Marinovich's artwork, we have a link for you on CBSLA.com.